Walking Wake, despite being available since last year, has just now become legal in competition with the Regulation F rule set. As a water dragon type, it's already got one of the best offensive and defensive types in the game. When paired with Protosynthesis and Hydra Steam, a move boosted both in Rain and Sun, it's certainly a threat. But is it right for your team, and how should you use it? Today, let's discuss just that. If you enjoy this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I make tons of competitive Pokemon content. But first, this channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, Walking Wake. Let's get into this one. This is a Pokemon I've been excited to talk about for a while. I mean, I already did like a guide a while back, but that was before it was ever legal. So we're going to ignore that that video got made. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in the current format. So as a water dragon type, this Mon is already just like ridiculous. Uh, the only other water dragon types I can think of are Palkia and Kingdra. And while Palkia is not that good in competition, uh, or at least it you know wasn't for a long time. Now it's actually pretty decent, or at least it was with Dynamax. Um, it's it, it's easy to say that there aren't a lot of like you know really good mons with that typing, but in all honesty, it just has to do with um, like the conditions of the metagame. And I think that the conditions of the metagame are just right for Walking Wake. Uh, Sun is in a pretty okay spot right now, and Rain is also in a pretty okay spot. Really, just being able to be ran on either one of those weathers is just like amazing for it. Its stats are also pretty phenomenal. It's got 99 HP, 83 attack, 91 defense, 125 special attack, 83 special defense, and 109 speed. So it's got like, not incineroar bulk, but just under incineroar bulk without intimidate, obviously. Um, but it's also got like a really nice speed set at 109, putting it just under the genies, uh, but above things like Landorus Incarnate and Urshifu, which is a pretty important uh, speed to be above if you're like a fast special attacker. Uh, and yeah, it's also just got access to this absurd new move called Hydro Steam. It's 80 base power, 100% accuracy, and with water moves, having like that consistency is actually kind of rare, especially since Scald was taken away from a lot of Pokemon this gen. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I'm a little a little congested again today, I have to drink some water. Uh, but yeah, speaking of water, it, it's, it feels like most Pokemon have to run Hydro Pump because they don't get uh, Scald anymore. This Mon, despite getting Scald, isn't going to run it just because Hydro Steam is better. 80 base power. Uh, during sunny day, it does 50% more instead of, you know, having the damage halved and also in rain, it does 50% more. Uh, so that is, you know, obviously because it's like built in as a water move. But yeah, uh, this mod is ridiculous. It can be run on a lot of archetypes. There's a lot of really great partners for it. Uh, let's talk about it today with uh, the first move set, which is going to be a very standard choice spec set. So this set is... Uh, Choice Specs, Timid, we're running Draco Meteor, Hydro Steam Flamethrower, and Flip Turn. So this, this Mon gets Flip Turn, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, and we're running Timid Max Speed because that actually um, will get you a speed boost. Uh, however, in order to outspeed your, you know, or in order to have higher speed than your uh, special attack, uh, you're going to have to go 244 on that uh, rather than 252, which is a little bit annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Beyond that, we have, you know, 4 HP, 4 defense, 4 special defense, and that's just like a small optimization. You just want odd HP because it's pretty good into stuff like, you know, Super Fang or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, it, it's it's like a, it, you, it might not even matter. Like, I'll be honest, that doesn't matter 99% of the time, but I like doing that because it just feels like I'm playing optimally. Like, I'm a lot better at the game than I actually am. You ever have that feeling where you go, yeah, I know this small interaction. My HP is even, and my, and, or my HP is odd, and my stats are even, you know? That sort of thing. Anyways, that's just me going off on a tangent. Uh, we're running Terra Water with Draco Meteor, Hydro Steam, Flamethrower, and Flip Turn. Uh, those moves are just going to hit like trucks with the choice specs. We are Protosynthesis Speed rather than Special Attack, just because we want to make sure uh, we're outspeeding things like Fluttermane. And of course, with Sun active with the choice specs, you're going to be doing a ton of damage to basically anything. Let me uh, let me familiarize myself with this Urshifu calc really quick. I want to make sure I don't spread some misinfo on the internet more than I already do. Okay, yeah, I am correct. So uh, Draco Meteor is obviously always going to one shot a, an Urshifu Rapid Strike, but <laughs> this is the fun part. Hydro Steam with the speed boost and the choice specs will actually be a roll, a very small roll. Uh, in your out of the out of your favor uh, to one shot Urshifu it's 6.3% chance to Oko so if they take any kind of chip damage let's say they like you know switch in on a resisted hit now they're at like 90% 
uh, then yeah, you have a pretty solid chance of one-shotting uh, the Urshifu at 85 to 100% being the roll. So that's really nice. Um, into like other Pokemon, like unresisted Pokemon, like a Fluttermane, you are going to be doing a pretty solid chunk of damage if they don't have a lot of bulk. Uh, versus like just 4 HP Fluttermane, uh, you can expect this Hydra Steam to be doing with Terra Water, it, it, like just you, you just one shot it. Uh, it's it's a stupid move. You you one shot with the with the Hydra Steam and Terra Water. If you're not Terra Watered, it is a roll to one shot 4 HP Fluttermane as well uh, at 87 to 103. So that is very nice. And yeah, this mod is just a nuke. It really is just a nuke. And while you could go with a defensive Terra like Steel or Poison. Uh, on this set, I really think that if you're going choice specs, you get a ton of value out of just going full out offensive with Terra Water because you are weak to Fluttermane as a Dragon type, but by going Terra Water, you not only get the offensive benefits of, you know, boosting your water moves, but also you lose the Dragon type, meaning you're taking neutral from Fairy uh, and you're resisting Ice and what else? Uh, you're not weak to Dragon, which is pretty nice in the uh, Walking Wake Mirror. Uh, they might want to go for a Draco into you. You just live that. You go for a Draco into them. They drop. So yeah. This first move set's very standard. You, you know, you can run it next to like a Tornadus with um, Sunny Day if you really want to. Uh, you could run it next to a Torkoal. I've seen some Torkoal like uh, Walking Wake Venusaur teams running around and those are really scary. Like honestly, Walking Wake on Sun is kind of ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, like there's a few options there. I would highly recommend you try it out. And yeah, the next move set we have here is a booster energy set. And this set's very straightforward as well. This one's going to be max speed, max special attack, 4 HP with a modest nature, Hydra Steam, Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, and Protect. This is going to be something you're going to want to run on a Tailwind team with like a Tornadus, obviously. Having that um, initial boost in your special attack stat, you can also run Life Orb, by the way, over Booster Energy if you really want to. Um, but yeah, having that initial boost in your special attack stat uh, will allow you to hit like a truck without having the commitment of a choice specs. Uh, and also, you don't have to take any recoil due to the Life Orb if you're running the booster over the Life Orb, but of course, you can swap these out. Uh, and yeah, Terra Steel is the option we're going for here because while it is a very offensive set, it's already hitting like a truck in the sun with Hydro Steam. Um, or sorry, with Booster Energy and Hydro Steam. And Hydro Steam obviously gets the boost in the sun. Um, Flamethrower hits pretty hard for coverage for like grass types. And Draco Meteor is going to be really nice uh, for just like hitting everything. You know, one shotting the um, Urshifu's on switch in, doing like a solid chunk of damage to like uh, opposing Landris. Actually, it might just one shot Landris on the switch in. Let me check that. Landorus Eye, of course. Landorus T is a little bit dead in the water at the moment. Uh, Landorus Eye versus Modest Booster Energy is going to take... Uh, it does not take. It dies. It drops to the Draco Meteor. So, yeah, no, it, it, it just drops on switching. Hydra Steam obviously would one-shot it, but yeah. Uh, this is pretty nice. Uh, I would recommend you just put this on like a Hyper Offense team. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be on Sun because of the fact it's Booster Energy. Uh, you don't really like worry about getting the Protosynthesis. So it can be on Rain with Tornadus and like Rain Dance, or it can be on Rain with like Tornadus and Sunny Day. Or if you really want the Torkoal, like that's still fine. Like you know, I'm not gonna judge you for running the Turtle. In fact, I in uh, I um I uh encourage the Turtle. I think he's actually a pretty solid Pokemon in this format. But yeah, uh, the final move set is my. I always do like two regular move sets. And then like one like kind of silly goofy moveset. And this is my silly go goofy moveset. Uh, this is Assault Vest. And it's got 100 HP, 4 defense, 204 special attack, 4 special defense, 196 speed with a Tim in nature. We're running Hydro Steam, Snarl, Breaking Swipe, and Draco Meteor. Breaking Swipe and Snarl are just like, you know, moves to reduce damage from the opponents, from the opposing Pokemon. You drop attack, you drop special attack. Uh, you do pretty well into Psy Spam. Uh, but notably, this set will be able to eat modest max special attack, non-choice specs, Fluttermane Moonblast. Uh, which is pretty nice. You'll be able to hit it with uh, Hydra Steam or a Snarl or whatever you want to in that position. Um, and we are Terra Water just because offensively Hydra Steam will one-shot a Fluttermane if you... Actually, is it a one-shot on Fluttermane with Terra Water in Sun? Let me double check. Yeah, with Sun and Terra Water, it's a guaranteed one-shot in a Fluttermane, which is really nice. Um, but the other really fun thing about this moveset is you're guaranteed to eat the Earth Power from Modest, uh, Life Orb, Landorus, Incarnate plus a double up with uh, Bleak Wind Storm. I believe it does like 64% with the modest Earth Power, and then like Timid Max Special Attack Bleak Wind Storm will be doing 30. Uh, so you'll be able to eat that up like Rhesus Puffs and then get a KO on either one of those mons, so that's really nice. Yeah, this is just like a goofy option. I'm, I'm not gonna advocate for this one too much, but I think it would be fun to run it. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about the uh, 
the Mon, I think it's going to do solid in this format on Sun or on Rain. I've definitely had issues facing into it with certain archetypes I've ran. Uh, but it's definitely not like super duper top tier. I just think it's like a solid like A tier Mon. I think it's like really nice. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into the showcase. Okay, so here we are. We're going to showcase Walking Wake. Now, funny enough, I actually don't have a team built for Walking Wake yet. I like really like scrambled to get this video done in time. Uh, but... I did use a team from a Patreon named Narwiz um, a little while back on the second channel, and the team's really solid, and it had Walking Wake, which went crazy, so I do want to use that. We're on my alt account, where I use like a lot of rental teams and stuff, so obviously, you know, I'm not in Master Ball rank yet, but this should still be a decent place to showcase Walking Wake, show you what like a Choice Specs moveset can do. It's a really scary mon, but yeah, um, looks like we're facing Psy Spam. Can I get away with Walking Wake in this game? Kind of. It depends. Like, the uh, the Thunderous doesn't really get to play too much. I think I can get away with this guy. That guy would be really nice. Um, here's what I'll do. I'll lead off with Walking Wake. I'm just going to try to nuke something. I'll bring the Incineroar in the back in case I need a defensive switch. For my last mod, Metagross looks like it goes crazy here. Just because it's a really nice times for resist into Expanding Force. Also, next video, Iron Leaves. The Mon no one cares about. And Didi Chiyu. Okay, that's not bad. I'm speed boosting Walking Wake. So here... I actually feel pretty comfortable going for a sunny day and just trying to one-shot this in Didi. Oh wait, I'm Terra Steel. Hmm. I guess I can go for the one shot into the Chi Yu. And, like, not Terra. As they just follow me. That's fine. I'll probably just have to take a Snarl or something. Sunny Day up. I doubt they're going for Heat Wave. A nice little speed boost here. And this Choice Specs is going to hit. That's just a one-shot in an Ndidi. That's ridiculous. Well, I guess, you know, the Chi Yu's on the field, too. <laughs> Snarl? That's fine. I'll take it. I'm still going to hit like a truck. Iron Crown. Are you speed boosting as well? I should be faster than you. It's not speed boosting. Hold on. Hold on a second there. Um... Honestly, I'm more concerned with the Chi Yu than anything. I think what I'll do here is I'll go Incineroar where the Thunderous is. And I'll Hydro Steam here into the Chi Yu because if we get rid of the Chi Yu, they just don't really have an answer for Metagross. Let's see if they protect. They're going to Terra. Terra Water, okay. Glad I didn't target down into you. Thunderbolt looks great now, though. If they do protect, I'm going to have to eat an Expanding Force. Likely losing the Walking Wake here, you know. It is what it is. Goodbye, my friend. Ow. And their life orb, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and send in the Metagross. I can actually tear a dragon here pretty effectively. I think we're going to try to get rid of that Chi Yu still. Because it feels like a nuisance. Imparting shot as well. Actually, I should probably double the Chi Yu slot. Just in case it's Focus Ash.
to protect the Iron Crown. Heat Wave. Nice. Get rid of you. All right. Pretty decent spot, I think. Uh, Incineroar is a little bit weakened. But we are AV, so we can eat an Expanding Force, I'm pretty sure. We are Citrus Berry. Oh wait, there's Flutter. Flutter can be annoying, because there's still Psychic Terrain. Two turns left to Psychic Terrain, let me think. Honestly, I think Heavy Slam on the Flutter's fine. I don't think I get rid of the Incineroar just yet. They already tear it, so Flutter with Speed Boost, I think I'll be able to live with whatever. Hmm. We'll double the Flutter slot. They Moonblast. Oh, I'm not going to take the Expanding Force now, arm, am I? They Terra Blast. In the sun? I eat that. Yeah, Incineroar is cracked. This month's stupid. Alright, not Focus Ash. Knockoff goes into this guy, and I think that's game. Life Orb's gone. Imparting shot here. Psychic Fangs. Say Terra Water, Terra Blast, that's fine. And we pick up that KO. The Walking Wake despite only doing, like, one thing, did it pretty well. We one-shot a freaking Ndidi with Hydro Steam. <laughs> Ndidi is not known for being frail on the special side, so I'm happy with that. I think uh, I think that's a pretty decent first showcase. Obviously, we'll be doing a full showcase uh, later on in the week. I think probably Wednesday. Um, or not Wednesday. Probably Saturday. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think uh, about Walking Wake in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the full uh, showcase later on. Have a nice one. Bye.